Right. Hello. Uh, today I'm going to do something that, generally speaking, I don't normally do. And that is a reaction, quote unquote, uh, video. Uh, the latest Darksiders 3 trailer came out overnight. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, so I'm going to watch it see what it's like see what it's about hope it doesn't spoil too much stuff and then depending on how much is in it it's two minutes long so it's not like super short uh we're gonna see uh what we can break down from that and explain and all that kind of jazz so let's get into it hopefully this isn't gonna be too loud Oop. So we've got some new areas there. That looks like the broken stairs. New sins. It is a matter that requires elegant attention. <laughs> Elegance. Oh, so she's arriving the same way that War did. Your quest for the seven deadly begins immediately. For the seven deadly? That's a weird choice of phrase. Apocalypse and forget to tell me. <laughs> oh, hello, hello Vulgrim. You're looking radiant and <laughs> with blood rage. When <laughs> I'm done, there will be no sins left standing. Take heed, the true I think they've upped the graphics so slightly. Balance are beyond ooh, comprehension. Ooh. Ooh. Which is why. I give you That's one of the angelic places. I'll try not to enjoy this too much. Yeah, yeah. Be vigilant, Fury. So they actually Forces have conspire against us. Once and for all, we shall raise. So the destroyer is in it. If we are monsters, we shall do what monsters do. Smack. Liking the music. Aren't we making a mighty ruckus? <laughs> the apocalypse. Sloth. Your day of reckoning is at hand. Ah. Yeah, I thought they might. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. My, my, she's cold. Oop. That didn't, uh... Didn't look like it was going to go well for Vulgrim there. Um, so they did introduce the, the third hollow. Yeah, that's the third one. We've had, we had, we've had flame one, horse one, so red, purple, yellow. I wonder if there's going to be more than that, if that's, if that's the last one that they're going to reveal. Hmm. Right, let's take a look at uh, some of the more specific details. So, first of all, we've got this uh, subway station. This looks a lot like um, a cross between the shattered stair, no, the broken stair, and the dry road area, which leads up to the Ashlands. And actually, if we skip forward a little bit, it does look like it's got a lot of the, the same kind of broken constructions i know in one of the the dev video interview things they've mentioned something called the bone lands and i'm wondering whether this could be related to that one of the most interesting things though is that uh, naxxramas from uh, world of warcraft seems to have taken a visit um, i'm assuming that we're going to be uh, heading up there at some point but it looks very very cool and all of this stuff kind of flying there's also a tree there again tying into this idea that, that, that there's just one big environment that they are working with and working towards what else do we have uh we've got envy envy is the first of the sins that we fight and we steal the amulet off that much i've gathered from the gameplay demos we've seen uh, I think, I believe that is Wrath, or Wrath, depending on how you want to pronounce it. If you're American, it's Wrath. 
Um, I'm assuming that this is one of the sins. Possibly lust? She's certainly got this, this kind of uh, beautiful, almost angelic um, visage to her. So yeah, possibly lust. I am reasonably certain that that is greed. Reminds me very much of a treasure goblin from Diablo with all of this stuff on his back, including what looks like lots of little arms. And actually, those look like angel wings as well, so I would imagine that he's a collector of body parts. What a delightful thought. Uh, here... We've got another shot of the Charred Council from a slightly different angle to what we normally get them. We don't normally see the, the kind of length of the Charred Council. Um, the Charred Council, of course, are responsible for adjudicating the balance. And I, I don't know whether that's Fury there, possibly, or whether that's just a, a, a stalagmite. Um, but this is where people normally stand to, to talk to the council, and they seem to have some uh, some things going on. Some explosions. So yeah, in the, in the very first cinematic for the original Darksiders, um, war. It, well, it starts off with a, an angel and a demon, kind of coming down to earth as a, as a meteor and destroying a load of buildings there's, a lot, there's quite a few of them and they crash to earth in the, in the cinematic um, and then war comes down in the same way so this seems to be the kind of um, transport system of the future um, landing on a shattered earth with quite an impact and we get, our we get the money shot a fury standing up a uh, little bit of narration there telling us what a quest is, showing off a little bit of the combat with the, her basic weapon. Get a little bit of her personality there, the snarkiness, which I quite appreciated. Uh, and here we get our first shot of Volgrim. I'm fairly certain they're using the same character model as before. Maybe a little bit smoothed off at the edges, but not by much. Don't know whether they've got the same voice actor back to play him. It does sound ever so slightly different. Um, more walking. This area is uh, in the hollows, I believe, or very close to the hollows. That's what I've heard. Um, got a lot of the same kind of puzzles as the Twilight Cathedral. Uh, one of the, the the slightly larger enemies, which I didn't realise, it looks like it's got kind of a hole blasted through it, and it's just got little heads stuck on top, which I find quite entertaining. Fairly certain she's going to get smashed here. Yeah, up there is one of the uh, the crystals that um, you had to activate by hitting them with the crossblade as war. I think fewer you can just activate them normally. Uh, this guy is the Lord of the Hollows, and I'm assuming we're going to find out more about him as we go. I've heard it said that he is going to be narrating the little bits of the story that actually get narrated. I don't believe there's a the story so far section like in Darksiders 2. Uh, and it's from the Lord of the Hollows that she gets her first one. We get some enemies here, including some... Can't tell if that's a new... I think that's a new enemy. These are certainly new, newly clothed enemies. That's new. It's got a... Uh, fungus and stuff growing over it. So I'm wondering if these are... It, it looks like a poisonous swamp area. So I don't think that's part of Sloth's domain. I think that must be part of somewhere somewhere else we get some angels uh, again we've got this this kind of pestilential green filter uh, over the over everything so it looks kind of swampy and nasty um, and we see an awful lot of 
slightly clearer shot there. Yeah, we've got a load of angels that have been strung up. So clearly the demons are winning the war in this part of the earth. Um, and you get this nice image of them. Also, I think... I think that's still an angel, but it's it's kind of rotting away. This bit really intrigued me because it, it th th there's been no mention at all or no no hints whatsoever up until this point that we're going above ground. That's the maker's tree in the background here. But this section we've got like floating rocks, and in. In Darksiders 1, we had floating rocks, because that was where we went to for the, the destroyer's uh, battle right at the end. And this here uh, looks a lot like angelic architecture, the same kind of architecture that we saw uh, over in Eden and Lost Light in Darksiders 2. And I think I said uh, back towards the start of my Darksiders 2 playthrough that one of the biggest critiques of the, the first game was that it was so, for the most part, earthbound. And thus it didn't give you the opportunity to really explore a lot of more interesting and dynamic uh, locales. Clearly, whilst this is also earthbound, they've they found a way around that. Albeit, we don't know for how long. Um, this is Fury getting the flame hollow seen that in a lot of trailers for, for months now uh, showing off her kind of they're basically blades of chaos let's let's be real here and I'm fine with that um, she's got kind of twirling batons or I, I, I think they're actually daggers on chains uh, for lots of fast paced action um, we get a little see this is the shot that we normally get with war chained up here uh, War warns her that there are bigger things afoot. Of course, if we've played the first game, we know what one of the things that's afoot. Um, after Fury has cleaned out the Seven Sins, then they're going to send, they're going to allow War to go back and to, to clean up some of the mess. But it's nice that they've got interactions. Um, Fury and the, her Watcher. Now this is the same person as before. It looks like an angel, but I am wondering if it is one of the sins. The devs uh, have confirmed that there are more bosses than just the seven sins. Don't know what, we'll have to f play and find out. This is the destroyer. The destroyer who was the end boss from Darksiders 1. Obviously he's still alive in this time period and he's on Earth, it seems. Um, and he uh, seems very adamant that he's going to be uh, taking over. I think those shots are from two separate cutscenes. Yeah, he's definitely on Earth here. And he's got a load of ghouls. I think those are ghouls in the background a uh, little bit of the wrath fight glimpse at uh, force fury showing off her big hammer moves that I didn't see that looks a lot like a faceless one from World of Warcraft with its tentacles and stuff hmm tentacles be kind of cool if they did lust with like tentacle entire. Um, what else we got? Yeah, some kind of weird eldritch edifices. A bit of Vulgrim. Uh, we've seen Sloth before. Sloth has been in a lot of the, the kind of demo builds for the game. Uh, some more combat. And this is the first look that we get for Lightning Hollow, Storm Hollow, 
she's she's clearly got kind of electricity um, for this one so we've had fire electricity and arcane force and it looks like she's got a spear with this one so she's got kind of dagger blades for flame she's got big hammer for force makes sense and she's got a kind of spear for lightning which makes sense it's like a, a kind of thrusting lightning rod though but it does seem like she's swinging it rather than spearing with it and then got Vulgrim pissing her off I've seen this kind of whip to pull maneuver uh, in a few pieces of footage now I don't know oh it is Wrath this is there um, I don't know if that's something that we have to learn or whether that's just something that she can do naturally um, pre-order now yeah so it's under two weeks till the game goes live very much looking forward to it there's a lot of things in that trailer that are kind of spoilery maybe I could have done without seeing the destroyer Maybe I could have done without seeing the, the the lightning form or the the extra enemies, the sins. But to be fair, we have seen a lot of the same stuff in the promotional media for the last two three months. So it's probably a good idea that they. They, they showed something else. I mean, th there's still a few things that they haven't showed us. We still haven't seen the horse. And I'm a little bit worried that we haven't seen the horse. I do wonder if the horse is, is used all that much. It depends, I suppose, on how big the world is. There are supposed to be some above-ground open areas. There's no point, Yeah, you know, this is no place for a horse, as, as Death would say, taking him down into the, the bowels of the earth. But yeah... A balance has been struck to an extent. We'll have to see uh, how well it plays out in the actual game. Hope you've enjoyed this reaction and a breakdown. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Remember to ring the bell to be notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.